Okay, plug some more FTL. Um, today, or well, not today, but this this time, I guess, I'll find the slug A. Let's reread this. Design views inside nebulas, this cruiser lacks sensors and relies instead on the guile and cunning of the slugs. So you start with a couple of slugs, no sensors, anti bio beam, breach one, and dual lasers. The breach bomb's pretty good, if I remember correctly. Or might be the breach two that's pretty good. The slug repair drill is. Yeah. Um, yeah, the idea of this is to kill the enemy, like the actual crew. Right, data we carry is vital, as always. So, just because I should probably just redistribute my power. The stress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach that being fired. They look for help to fix or disable shoot it and get hit that's the slug repair gel repairing the breach so oxygen going back up shoot it slowly there is, oh you know it is so get over the breaches you should be on the weapons. What a great start. I still haven't found out of any of my stuff. Oh well. You detect an automated robot scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene. Detect the higher threat, it moves into attack. I don't think that power. Alright, we're right, normally. You use dual lasers to kind of take down the shields. And then use the anti bio beam to kill the crew. Clearly, it doesn't have any crew for me to kill. So, what are we going to do with him? How long is it? That's pretty long. There's no damage, but it does 60 damage to the crew. So, it takes two shots to kill anybody. But crystals take. Crystals are anything like this. The crystals are not particularly shots. Ship breaks apart. Restart. Uh, a number of ships fleeing from the school space station. You pale them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. This is what the anti bio beam is for. It's not very good. We instruct them to drop their shields and we're able to kill the creatures without damaging the station. The monsters just started bursting into flames as we watched with a terrifying weapon. Here, take this for your help, friend. That's not much, though. They're too terrified. Power. More power. Unlimited power. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The next, um, the ship hastily messages you. Stay out of this, or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Right, fire. So yeah, we need to wait for the fire to charge. Hope this missile doesn't, doesn't kill us too badly. That's pretty bad. Go fix that. What? Are you serious? That's it. And having slugs, we can see the um, enemy crew. And if there's a small chance it could be a breach, but it's in dead. The remains contact the set. Oh, a hole repair. That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I've got, how the hell have I got 30 missiles? I thought I started with 15. I'm using the breach. It's a breach bomb. It's 
Scans revealed a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FDL to recharge. Explore the asteroid field. Five people. That's pretty decent. To be honest. Discover any of our planets, expect the settlements, no response from that. Yeah. We have found a number of ships convening around a station. There is some unequal to chat between the ships. You tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact, so we can offer to remove their crew. They quickly scan your ship and say, It appears you could help. A bandit has made off with some very important cargo, though I doubt they have any understanding of what it is they stole. We need you to capture the ship, capture the ship intact. Yeah. I believe this is a ship where you really, really should not destroy it. It really does make work. <laughs> Fine. Not really. It's good to me, Breach Bomb is pretty good against all those things. Because they can never repair that one. They will never get their shields back online because of Breach and Fake. Breach one doesn't do any direct damage, just like me. The medbay is on fire. It's rather unfortunate for the medbay to be on fire, because I can't heal my crew up. You barely have time to register jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. So, oh, they have a clone bay. So you're actually going to leave? I'm going to do this. I hope the door stops. I don't know why the ship starts with upgraded doors. But it does. I cannot afford them to repair the clone there. Right, and that will actually that will reset the, all their progress on the clone bay. Fix that. On the engines. Which are now at fire. Bars the Mantis. Turn over the auction, the fire will deoxygenate this room more quickly. Hopefully, the fire won't spread to the weapons. It's a lot of fire. Should deoxygenate the room and then burn itself out. There we go. I guess I could have stood there. So we'll go in there and fix it. Right. The engine is partially repaired, at least functional now. Maybe you have to stop the shields. Potentially, be quite nice to have the um, theme uh, dual base on as well. It's hard to see why, this big beacon is apparently a tourist destination, one of the ships at the small stations are pretty deep. 7 fuel would be 21, 4 missiles would be 24 or something. 
Well, I think it's six. Direct the FDO drop charge off so it's an ambush. There is one. You arrived long as we can. You arrived near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned. It protect fake lives in the woods. All this looks like. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal and lone survivor and lock themselves in the storage closet. You quickly retreat with them in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover after this abuse. Three dudes. I'm not going to complain. Um, I'm actually going to put the Mantis in the engines. Because that way the slug is closer, so you go in and help repair, because the Mantis will be not really going to repair that on their own. Pirate control to pirate control. Oh, you want to go to the nebula? Well, those slugs are sort of better in the nebula. They're better in the nebula than anyone else. They're not particularly better in the nebula than anywhere else. But a few years ago, this region was bustling with trade activity. Now it is overrun with bandits and marauders. You should tread lightly here. Yeah. Or I can just go and murder everyone. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I've a nearby rebel scout immediately identifies as you identifies as a threat of engages. Exposed, you find central collection of scrap materials. What type of clone base are I should have given As much as I prefer having a mid bay, having one gets you used to it. So we just done a run where I had a clone bay, kind of having to adjust slightly to having a mid bay. The pirate ship was lying away to side the test, it immediately moves into attack. I really want to breach bomb their shields. An asteroid can get in and take on the shield. That'd be nice. The next asteroid does it. The defense one is vaguely useful for shooting down asteroids, it tends to miss them a lot though. Well, I guess like that. Yeah, just that guy left. He doesn't really go. Yeah, if, they, if it's on the opposite shot side of the ship to the asteroid, you will often miss it. Because the shot won't probably get there. The Astro might, and an Astro might come in before, but if not, the lasers will do that. Find a weapon system their ship, and they could just stop you from sorting your own. Fine. I'm not normally one for using missiles or bombs, but this group will work pretty well. You find the ship that you were asked to capture intact. You're not sure why, but they stress that it's of great importance that you kill the crew without destroying the ship. This is just one system damage. You just do 30 crew damage, though. You just don't do any system damage. Either. I'm going to stop that. Right, because of... I can't remember if the anti-bio beam does damage to soldier shields. 
We might do loads. We might do like eight or something. Might do something really silly. I don't know. We'll see. Because it does. I oh, know. It does technically have like eight damage. Four damage. Because of the way um the way personnel damage works in this game. Right, with the weapon stats, they actually do um, fifteen times the uh, the value. Hopefully I hit that dude. Now there we go. Manipulating the AI, he won't heal shields are a higher priority than the weapons. You secure the ship and wait for the merchants to arrive. Upon arrival they message him saying, Good job, we would prefer if you do not speak at this time. First lady might not not in it. It's just worse than the very stupid idiot. You might find a small research station putting out a distress signal. There's no response to your head. Dock and investigate. You dock with the station and see a frantic person banging on the airlock door. Once inside your ship, he drops to the floor, saying, My friends, they've gone insane. They're coming. You hand him a blaster and turn to see a number of people charging towards the ship. Marcus the Mantis. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. to heal everybody. All I can do is Marcus. I guess I man the doors. Probably do with the shot. To try and bear this in my hole. You see a number of derelict ships near this beacon. After a short time, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleport from shouts coming from within the ship. You've been boarded. I could get everyone out and then bomb the room. Events that just goes to be boarded generally aren't very useful because they don't give you any, any resources. Turn up the oxygen pattern a bit while I jump. Would be a good strategy. The best strategy is just to wait. So I'm not going like to fight where turning off the option to power the motor is a very decent strategy. Yes, this is a tourist destination. It's hard to see anything. I don't know why you know, we're in a I guess I'm going to turn it I think, I guess. So, scanners indicate that a battle has taken place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Apparently, weapons engage the pirates. The slug A is okay early game. Late game it's not great. I think I hit both. I said the beam the wrong way though. We 
should target the guy. There are two of them. You're shooting at the shields. So you should target the guy who isn't in the shields first. Yeah, I missed because he walked off. Once you've the shields. No more life sounds detected. Thanks for the Shelton, I guess. You can man the this room here. No idea to teleport to because I've got two spare mantis who aren't doing anything useful. I think the Bible will hit you as well. The speaker has been placed too close to a super giant while at the start. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. That's all it is. Yeah, I need a teleporter. It would be really good. Because these two mantis are just free wheeling. And I've got the breach bomb. Ow. You literally just shot my mantis. It is theoretically possible to hit someone twice with the live beam. The really damage the relationship is higher than everybody speak before you're trying to make contact with them, they fail to take it. Right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to wait, wait, and this slug will allow me to see into this room so I'll know when it's uh, breach is repaired. When the options come back in, so I can go into repair it. Get off the road, some stuff. There's a fire in there. And in there. And there. The same kind of shock contact. It's amazing. The ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rubber ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look. Attack the ship. That was a better strategy. Unfortunately, I failed to take into account the fact that it wouldn't work. It's the shield that's getting back up. Those are super. They've wasted one of their whole. It's an iron that would be pretty sweet here. I've never really considered iron, iron too. I 
Well, the ship has been emptied of hostiles. You search it. Eventually, you find a prisoner after joining your crew. Schultz the Mantis. No man for this room here. We don't need all these Mantis. What am I going to do with them all? I'm only going to get a two man teleporter before I eventually get them. Your senses have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of many playing rather than violence. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll go up here, I'm gonna have to waste a jump come going back, but it doesn't really matter. Pirate advances in your position, and refusing all hails. Right, they will have first twos and a mini beam. Generally, you have the same ship. Halberd beam! Yes, please. Give me an ion weapon. I think I'll be able to make this. Oh, it might be wrong. I think I'll be able to make this. Now I need some ionization capabilities. There's nothing here. Oh, great. And I got to buy the rubbish twice. And there's ASB. Great. Okay. Never met by as well, there's no, I have no chance here. As long as the halberd doesn't line up with the heavy. Please miss, please miss, please miss. It missed. I believe this, it counts as any as a normal shot. I've got the med bay. I can't deal with the med bays because, well, I mean, theoretically, I could I could breach bomb them and then shoot dual lasers. That would take a lot of missiles. Potentially fire them. Ow! <laughs> Mobile Mantis Repair Group, go! Shoot them with the um, burly. Okay. This run may not be long for this world. As far as I can. If I die here, I'll probably go to a different ship. Almost a hell. If I lose in this, I'm not doing another one with it because it's not a great ship. Sorry about the process. Kind of. Oh, yeah, I should explain that. They. You can give them scrap and they can give you stuff. Like an augmented weapon or a drone. Interject a refueling splat near the beacon, though. It's broadcasting this garbage. You can't make out the message. Check to communicate. It's a ship. There's a screech from your comm system, and the broadcast suddenly cuts off. The platform suddenly begins to move, revealing itself to be a lane issue. Alright, well, this should be alright. Can't fire bomb them. And the breach bomb is of dubious use. It's not often that you go for killing the crew on the Lanius ship. It looks as if the Lanius are uninterested in the fuel reserves at the station. There's a good amount of fuel left. 
can tell where a ship can hold a better jump to it. Melanius B can do it. Um, is it Melanius warning? Can probably make it look in a crystal B. Scans show no signs of any ships or settlements nearby. You have no way of knowing if the area is always uninhabited or if it's simply erased by the Melanius. Why? There appears to be some sort of research station near a pulse though it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted. The Melania's ship that has been working at it moves into interception, totally oblivious to the threat of the air pulses. He's just trying to man the shields. Maybe he must have been. He must have been stunned. I guess the armor bosses are useful here. I dodged it. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of beauty materials. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Who needs help? The ship was engaged, you attempt to open communication, but realize the futility when you see the ship is run by an AI. I really should swap out something for the halberd beam that I've got. No, 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 no. Again. Thank you. I yeah, don't need the breach anymore because they can't repair the helm and they can't repair the shields. And this must. Well, it could be an Artemis. There's no, I haven't hit yet. Oh, the antibiotic. It's not about the damage, it's about sending a message. Ooh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Heavy laser mark 2. Heavy solo weapon. Alright, equipment. I have so many weapons. Right, this is just better than this. Right, it's just better. I don't need this. Helper beam. I don't need this. I need breach. Breach is useful. I guess I just found a shot. Do that. Yeah. That way I can start using the halberd beam with the dual is. If I get the heavy two and the halberd up. Melania's merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator, so you clearly understand their message. Metal content more than sufficient. Does your ship care to exchange resources for our excess metal? No. You can decline, but I'll work on that as well. Yes, it is quality. Our ship contains excess. Care to purchase? No. No matter. This one does not mind this ship. They pull away, and you are left to, and you are left to wonder what isn't what it meant by that. Perhaps the translation device has not yet been perfected. I know what it means. And I'm not going to tell you because I want to get rid of it again in the future when I can do it. You discover one of the rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship say, I waste no time in engaging your ship. Two lasers. And just more damage. This can hit for four. This can hit for a lot more. You can hit for eight. Uh, charge is slow. I think it's probably still the better option. Mm -hmm. 
ship explosing behind a substantial collection of future scraps. That was a waste. That's what I was going to do with that power. Right and the anti boom, the heavy two? I guess I can run the heavy two with the anti boom. I already wanted. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You see, quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. Is that the pirate? Here we go. Let's see. It's like one of those tracks that's largely silent. Those open. I can't tell the health, even though I can see them. The Schlug's got 40 health, and the Zoltan's got 10. Pirates are all dead, leaving the ship dead in space. She scrounge and can from the ship before contacting its former prey. Yes! All the hull repair. Don't have to fight the rebels. No way. So. Two power. Fire up into the lasers, I guess, from the med bay. Now I have a ship with combat capabilities. Oh, an image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half our angels and leave us here to die? I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. I think they will try with the oxygen. Yeah, you don't hear that. Should I save positions? They're going to try and board with multiple waves in my temple. Upon nice. arrival, you're immediately surrounded by chaos. The planet's anti ship battery is firing a number of Lania ships. One of the combat ships mistakenly believes your ship has arrived to assist the planetary defences. Combat positions. And it's just occurred to me I'm not going to be boarding here. Because my matters would die very, very quickly. No more life signs detected on the Lania ship. You decide to salvage it and the opportunity to and the opportunity arises. Finish off your assailant with the help of the anti-ship battery. The fight rages on the distance. You best leave before you get dragged onto it again. Into it again. Okay. Just slightly over there. Is this gonna miss? Yes. Because the enemy ship has been disabled, so all shots on them will miss. We found the exit beacon, but the rebels have got hit first. They survived long enough for me to jump to the next sector. Don't really need to board them. I could do, probably. I've only got level 1 teleport. Okay. Too dangerous. Messing with their heads, literally. Yeah. 
video is actually pretty tight. You know what, I think I can do this. Come on, let everybody do it. Yeah, one of my controllers to pull them away. They can't hit me, so I might as well take them out. No taunt penalty or anything. This is this has been a rather slow run though. Bit of a roundabout way of dealing with it. But... Next sector. Next sector. Oh, civilian. Because I don't want to... civilians to be it's just easier. Very few sectors, although generally you should never go to civilian sector. Have I done armor? Oh, no. Oh, that, that's not so sort of what I'm looking at. So, how much do I need for him? 55. So I need an additional 2. This is 32. I can't count. It's hard to see why this peak is apparently a tourist system. Yes, we will. Yeah. I've got slugs so I can see where the enemy are. Pirate ship arrived shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempted to board your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Thank you, Pirate. I can't reference anything to engage. Um. Alright, so you can board me. Um. 
here. More often when I get into double wave boarding, actually. The ship was apparently was apparently carrying information about the sound of beacons to download the can the ship map and scrap the rest of So said scans. That's a no. See here it says iron storm. Look, sometimes in the event it says plasma storm, a whole other thing appears. It's, it's, it's cool. We arrive in the nebula immediately and receive a message from an unknown source. Prepared to be forwarded. The static from the nebula, there's no way to tell where they came from. You'll hear, you'll hear shots fired on board the ship. Shots fired. Uh, and the other bonus of being slugged is like, you know where all the borders are. You'd have to think maybe there are some in the air. Lines. No, there's no, in the sea. Right? You jump into a car part of the nebula, however, your relief base is from the scout jumps to the beacon and moves into a tank. This is a horribly inefficient way of um, doing this fight. This worked. Two explodes. Yet again. Oh, this is a pretty bad slow layout there. What is it coming from turning the ship? I think it did. Yeah, oh, that's good. There's a buff to also complete ma mass. Really badly mismanaged this. The shock bed had some pretty awesome, awesome stuff. Like, a weaker shock attempt. No! I don't, this doesn't do anything. Buy another Halberd Beam. I don't need another Halberd Beam. I buy a clone bay. But, uh, I don't. I buy a backup battery. I don't need it though. It gives you 30 seconds and you get 2 additional power. Rate it. 4 power. Eh? It's not worth it because it can be hacked. And if it gets hacked, then you it locks like two power out of your reactor or something. There's a ship with pirate markings orbiting the nearby planet. The receiver's hail. Anything is possible for the right price. Fight ship. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenaries in battle. Oh, isn't that one through? Because I mind controlled him before I teleported in, there was already a dude in there, so he didn't fit. Oh no, stumble. You stumble? No, there's nowhere to stumble. I mean, the only possible stumble, I mean, would be here. That stumble my crew, the module ship. If the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage, you have to take all the scrap and damage. Maybe do an upgrading one mid bay. No, it's not. not super urgent. I would have been on that. Long range beacons are missing in the nebula. Yes. The exit beacons in the nebula. There's never anything there. A few years ago, this region was bustling with trade activity. Now it's overrun with bands of orbit. You should tread lightly here. Now I would normally have stopped by this point, so I'm going to stop after this fight. I kind of forgot. No, I've had my engines. Yeah. Oh, 
I think the energy bar is never drained. That was very close. The pirate ship disabled, your engines come online again, because everything happened this year. You got 59, you got 32, you got literally one health. I said I was going to finish. <laughs> We've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks like it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon's active. We're not drawing into the There we go. It's not a fire. I really, really should finish after this. Now, I might pause it, but I don't want to leave in the middle of an event. Pirate ship now to Blyford provides easy sandwich. Refugee ship claims pirates have been following their trail since they left their home. Right, that is actually the end.